so first what I did, I drew the uh, precedence diagram or phase diagram as, it's, as it is, take into consideration the precedence, like which one is before the other step, as you could see here. Uh, step five, it's obvious that it could be placed in column two and column three at the same time. We have to pick either column two or column three, as you could see here from the screen. What do I mean by this? Like one is the first to start with as well as two. And it goes by, for example, one, three, six, nine, eleven, twelve. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six stage or steps as it's like, it's very, very, very obvious. Okay, in the system. So, um, uh, so th those are like the six step as you could see here. Uh, the second part of that job, uh, so we have to uh, select uh, work element for assignment to station according to their pos position in, their, in the precedence diagram, as we're going to do now in a second. So let's start. So we have the work element 2, which is the one here. So we have work element uh, 2 or 1, just the same. So this is column 1. TEK is 0 0.4 is preceded by none. We have work element 1 is as well column 1. TEK is 0 0.2 preceded by none. So this is even easier than the one we did before as a largest candidate rule. We have work element uh, now we have work element 3 okay is uh, and it's done 0 0.7 Okay, so this is preceded by one, and I'm gonna pause the video for a second just to continue with. Uh, so this is what we did, or what I did very precisely. I I wrote down the column, as in here. You could see five; it could belong to column two and column three, which is fine. Here it, I've written it before as column one, so it's column two. So I've done all of it. Now that would be the next step, which I'm gonna do in a second. I'm gonna show it to you. Uh, so the next step would be to assign them to a station. Same condition as before, the summation of TEK, it must be less than the surface time, and this condition is one minute. As well as we try to minimize in order to maximize the balancing efficiency, maximize the utilization. So we have the station, the work element, the column, the TEK minimum, and preceded by okay so i'm gonna do all of them like really slowly so we have a station one work element of course two no precedence column one 0 0.4 okay and then so this is done we do this one as well so one column one 0 0.2 none is, are we possible? Are we able to do 0 0.7? Is impossible because the summation is above one, so we don't do it. Are we possible? Are we okay to do this one? Yes. So this is five, zero point. So this is like two. Okay. Sorry for that. So zero point three. Okay. Uh, are we are we able to do four? Yes. So this is two zero point one. Sorry, I've got the mistake. So here is one. Uh, here is two. Sorry about this. And then the four is one and two. Okay. Uh, so I preceded by one and two. If you want to do this, it has no meaning. And then I'm gonna pause it for a second to. Uh, so I've done. I've done all of them. Meanwhile, I just don't want the video to be uh, gigantic. So now we're gonna consider the balancing efficiency TWC divided by WTS we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 station and S is equal to 1 and uh, summation we already done it and this is example 17.1 in the book it's page 531 so it's as well as is 80% balancing efficiency the last method in the line balancing is ranked positional weight